What's up you guys, it's McNulty here. We are coming back to you with a, another Covenant Summon which falls on Christmas Eve. So I hope that you are all having a great Christmas, getting ready, uh, wrapping presents, uh, spending time with family. Um, we obviously have a few uh, Christmas presents I'm going to say in this portal. Um, so we are going to go ahead and have a look at them and I am very very pleased to say as we open up this portal that we do have a four star and a three star in this one as well. Um, and interestingly Jekyll is featured. Um, I, I will get through to that uh, right now actually because it's super interesting that he's featured at a 1.6% chance across the six heroes that we have in this portal. Um, because I believe that that gives you a slightly higher chance to pull him from here than you had initially from the Super Elemental Summon. So, um, yeah, he's definitely worth having a crack at just before we get into these new heroes. But um, we have had the Monster Hunters and now I think we've got the Monsters uh, by the looks of it. Because we're starting off with this um, beastly looking Minotaur type thing. Um, and his name is Otis, <laughs> funnily enough. Um, reminds me of like a little puppy dog name, but he certainly doesn't look like one. So um, we've got four brand new heroes in the portal. Otis will be the first that we'll have a look at. So we've got a fire hero, barbarian class. He is of the monster hunter family. Uh, oh, sorry, abyss hunter family. So we have had a bit of a changeover. So the Abyss heroes, let's see what they do. They become stronger when teamed with other unique heroes. The bonus is for two, three, four, or five, and the increase is up to anywhere from 5% up to 20% defense, okay. They've got a Monster Hunter Island bonus. Uh, we won't go into that right now because the Monster Hunter event is not active, uh, but I will be doing another uh, video on Monster Hunter Island when it does pop up again. So we've got the passive, damage over time. So they do cast the Hunter's Mark, um, and obviously the damage can increase up to 1500 in total still haven't seen that actually happen and I would be quite interested to see it if somebody can actually get that damage up to 1500 so please let me know if you do I know loads of you have got loads of these heroes as well and the special or the passive that he's got is called the hunter's sense okay let's see so when he casts his special skill he transfers the newest cleansable status ailment from himself to the target. All right. If the special skill cannot target an enemy, a random enemy is chosen instead. And if this character has no cleansable ailments, they recover 12% health. All right. So it's basically just a cleanse that he's going to transfer onto the target, similar to like a, a Lady Loki, um, but he's just doing it for himself. If he doesn't have an ailment, he's getting 12% heal, which is pretty cool. I mean, it's just an additional bonus. So yeah, really decent um, passive. Uh, not too much uh, out of this world um, just yet. Okay, so let's move on to his stats. So for Otis, we have got 813 attack, 821 defense, and 1421 health. Really liking the health, uh, I mean the attack and defensive stats, they are pretty beefy. Uh, if we do click this little button, yeah, we're going to get up to 951, 921 and 1736. So definitely a good survivable hero. Um, we'll click this off again to look at his special. So his special skills, Dauntless Breakdown. Sorry, <laughs> where did I get that from? Dauntless Blade Storm. All right, so uh, he's running at slow speed, okay. Um, but at slow speed, he's dealing 370% damage to all enemies. All enemies are getting 543 bleed damage over four turns, starting low and increasing with every turn. Not too much of a fan of that because you could activate a cleanse and it could be the lower part of the bleed damage, but okay. 
Um, all enemies also get minus 70% decrease for any healing received for four turns, um, and the healing received decreases by minus 10% each turn up to 100%. Is that really necessary? Why don't you just start it out at 100? Um, anyways, aside from the fact that it's damage over time and it's decrease on healing over time, I do think that this is a pretty hardcore special. Um, he's not going to compete with the likes of Khufu, uh, but the damage over time, if you add it all up, is going to get pretty close, I would say, if you don't have a cleanse available. If we do check what that would go up to, it's going up to 635 bleed over four turns if you add emblems and limit breaks. So that is definitely um, going to do some, so it's going to hurt for sure. It's going to be about somewhere in the region of 200 a turn if you look at the um, effects from troops, etc. So um, yeah, there's quite a bit going on with his special. Um, I, I'm not, not a fan of Otis. I'm just not as the hugest fan of slow speed heroes in general um and as a lot of people will tell you if a slow speed hero goes off at in today's meta it should be an absolute um game winning special game changing special with this one i think he maybe is gonna fall just short i think that as much as i like the guy um just that damage is just slightly lower than what we've been seeing with some other heroes. And if you've got a cleanse available, you're going to be able to stop that. Also, if you've got somebody who's going to block ailments, um, like Haythor, obviously, or anyone else who's an ailment blocking hero, um, that bleed damage is just not going to happen. So there are some counters for Otis for sure. So pretty decent hero, um, probably not my pick of the bunch. Um, but he is um, super cool looking and I just love the fact that he's called Otis and he looks so beastly. So um, that is it for old Otis. Uh, now the other five star we have in this portal who's featured is Gortooth. Great name, Gortooth. Right, so we have a dark hero of the fighter class. Excellent. I mean, you know how, how I feel about the fighter class. It's a great class. Um, and Gortooth, I can't even figure out whether he's like some kind of like pig or I think he's like a pig, like a, a bat-eared pig. He kind of reminds me of the pig um, from the, the, the Mutant Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, crossed with like Master Shredder and Splinter, like all in one. He just reminds me of Ninja Turtles for some reason. Anyway, so Gortooth, same family, the Abyss Hunters, so we won't go over that again. Uh, same passives, I believe. Yep, the Hunter's Sense he gets as well. Um, was that 3% health he recovers? Okay, so I think that the Hunter's Sense is going to be based on the speed of special skill, so watch out for that. He, Otis, is at slow if he has no cleansable ailments, he recovers 12%. Uh, with Gortooth, he is at very fast. Um, and he will recover 3% health. All right, then. So, um, great, great looking hero so far. I love the art. I think that these new heroes are something that we haven't seen before. So, we'll go on to stats now. So, I'm just flabbergasted by that attack stat 859. It is way up there so he's going to be strong as anything um 788 defense so slightly weaker on the defense and 1380 health so again slightly less on the health now his special is going to be running at very fast speed and it's called titan tooth blade i see the titan tooth blade it's very evident <laughs> okay so at very fast speed gore tooth deals 30% damage to the target and the target gets minus 45% defense for two turns the defense increases by minus 15% each turn up to 60% so what that means on the first turn they're hit they get minus 45 defense the second turn it will max out at the 60% defense and the target also can't gain mana for two turns so 
This is an interesting one. I do like it a lot. It is running at very fast speed, so bear that in mind when you look at the two turns. Don't let the two turn thing put you off. Heroes that run at very fast speed are charged within two matches, which means that you only need two matches to be able to activate that effect, and it can just keep firing off multiple times. I do like the snipe at 430. I think with that attack stat, and you can see it can get all the way up to over a thousand easily, um, that 430% is just going to be a massive hit. It's going to be tricky to get him to fire off again within the two turns to take the most advantage of that minus 60% uh, because you do need that first match and then a second match to go off straight away. Um, it'd be interesting though, I think, if you maybe paired him with somebody who boosts mana, um, even though you might not get the full effect because they might not be running it very fast as well. So forget about that. I just think that he is an excellent hero. I think he's a really good sniper with a great secondary effect as well. Um, and I think he could be super useful against Titans because that defense down starts from 45, goes to 60 within one turn. Um, and you can, if you have enough mana pots, just charge him back up over and over again. So great hero. Neither of them, you know, super OP, uh, but I do love them both. I think that they're good additions to this new Covenant summon that we've got going on. And now I am going to have a look at the four-star hero who is in here. This guy, Bogart. Just look at him. He's like a frog chameleon dude. Um, don't even know what his weapon is. Like, we can't see it. Why can't we see it? I want to know what's on the end of that club. <laughs> so with Bogart, we have obviously the family bonus. We've got the passives. We won't go over those again. Um, he is a holy hero, paladin class, great class for defense. Um, and we have stats of, let's just go with the limit broken stats, 789 attack, 850 defense, and 1547 health. So the reason I would say go with the limit broken stats is because often with these four star heroes, we want to know if we could use them on a five star team. We want to know if we could take them into battle and if they'd actually do anything good against these super massively overpowered heroes and, you know, other heroes that we're facing on in raids and on offense. So um, I would say that Bogart can. He's got the Paladin class, plus he's got 850 defense, 1547 health, which means that he's going to be able to hold his own. He's going to be able to survive to, to let you fire him off. Now, we have his special, which is called Bone Club Clonk. <laughs> and Bone Club Clonk is running at average speed. At average, Bogart's dealing 305 damage to the target and nearby. 305%, that is. Nice, nice, nice. And the target and nearby enemies get minus 35% defense for three turns. And the defense decreases by 10% each turn up to 55%. This is incredible. And I'm going to tell you guys why. There are no other defense down heroes in yellow in the four star category. Except obviously in the five star. The only defense down I've got is Zakina. And I use him all the time. Uh, but it's been far too long since we've had, in fact, we just don't have a defense down hero in the four stars in the yellow. So this is going to be the one to go for. I would definitely love to grab Bogart with his googly eyes. Um, and I think that I would definitely level him straight away because um, uh, despite what's been changing in the top tiers, we still see a lot of purple tanks. So yeah. I think he's a great, great hero, and I think he could fit in easily on any of your raid or war teams. So congrats if you did grab Bogart. He's a great hero. And now for the, the three stars. So we have another rat. 
why did they always put the rats as the three stars? Actually, we had like a hamster <laughs> um, from the Mighty Pets. Okay, so we've had a five star rat ish and Ratatoska. Okay, what am I saying? Forget what I just said. So his name's Basil. And Basil is of the Druid class, so he can spawn the little Thorn minions. Uh, Stats-wise, over a thousand health, which is pretty good. Nearly eleven hundred health. Uh, Six forty-six defense, five eighty-two attack. So pretty good um, stats there for a three-star. And his special we've got running at slow speed, and it's called the Squeak of Protection. So all allies share receive damage with each other for four turns. We like a receive damage share. Um, all allies get plus 35% defense for four turns and it increases up to 65%. All allies counter attack with 70% of the damage received for four turns and the counter attack damage increases by 10% each turn up to a, up to 100%. I'm just reading this and I'm just thinking there's finally a use for that um, that other guy. I can't even remember what his name is now. Hang on. Um, I'm going to have to go all the way down to the to three stars. But um, where was he from? The Tower of Sticks, wasn't he? Um, did I feed him away? Yeah, I think I did feed him away. Because uh, I was like, oh, there's no three stars that counter attack, so I'm not going to need him. Um, obviously, I need him now um, because we got a three star that counter attacks. So I do like that. I think it is unique. I think he's going to be a beast in Rush because it's quite difficult to deal with. I mean, there are some uh, dispellers at the three star level that you can take up against him. Um, but yeah, I think he's probably going to be best suited to Rush um, because there isn't any damage that's happening here. So you do need a support. Um, but that counter attack can come in super handy um, and he's going to help the team survive whatever hits and things like that are coming their way. So definitely a great addition to the three star Rush meta. Um, and congrats if you did get hold of little Basil. Um, I've just got two pulls here at the moment, so I might as well just do those right now just before we end the video. So here goes nothing. Treville. Still a great hero. Am I right? Right, so that is it for now, guys. I will be back in here, I'm sure, and grabbing some, or trying to grab some of these heroes specifically, because um, you know I don't chase five stars. Specifically, I'd love to grab this guy, Bogart. Um, so please do um, let me know how you guys think about these heroes, what you think of them, if you manage to grab any of these amazing heroes. I mean, Ruby's featured too. Um, and Melina, some and Francine, I mean Toxicandra, sorry. These featured heroes are absolutely brilliant. So you'd be doing well if you got any of them. I think probably the worst of the bunch would be Otis um, out of these. But then that's saying something because they're all amazing heroes. Um, so please do drop us a like and a subscribe. Uh, let us know what you think of the heroes in the comments. And I wish you guys all a very, very Merry Christmas. And I'll see you again in the next video.